Welcome back, everyone. In a previous video, we covered the topic of mesh bullion. Towards the end of that video, I showed you some basic techniques to apply mesh bullion to your projects. I also teased a way to wrap images around curved surfaces. This video is the follow-up. Let's first start with the Bamboo Studio version I'm using. Second, I will be using an SVG file. Wrapping STL images do not always work, so your mileage may vary when using STL images. I would be remiss in not mentioning some of the caveats. Depending on your print orientation, you will be in for a long print time, potentially large amounts of filaments purged. You can mitigate that in a few ways. Printing multiple duplicates. The purge amount will be the same whether it's one item or a full build plate of items. There's an excellent video on reducing purge on Butter Pocket Print's YouTube channel and this Maker World profile. All right, so let's begin. Okay, so we're going to curve this image and from here, we'll just actually rotate this on its edge. And we'll be doing a few things with mesh bullion. So uh, first, let's just move this up. And of course, this Hello Kitty was from a previous video and I'll leave a link in the description. And I'm just going to slide this out of the way for a moment. All right, so let's just create a simple primitive. So we'll just add a primitive and we'll start with a sphere. And 100 by 100 by 100. Good. All right, now from here, I'm going to create a second sphere. So right click, clone. And I'm going to knock this one down to 95. All right, so I'm going to assemble both of these. So let's just center that real fast. I'm going to hold control on both of these. And you can also do this along the left si side here, hold shift and highlight them both, uh, but right click and assemble. Now that that's done, I'm actually going to take this sphere and we'll right click, change type, and we'll make this a negative part. And then I'm just going to center this so now we have that negative part placed inside here. I'm going to slice it so you can see what it looks like. All right, so you see that it's empty on the inside now. All right, so now that this is together, I'm just going to right click and then we'll just do a mesh Boolean. So that now makes it a permanent change. So that negative sphere disappears and it's now become one part. All right, so now that that's created, let's take you and I'm going to center this and we'll use the move tool, slide this forward. All right, and I'm going to move this up a bit. Uh, that's me getting ahead of myself. We have to assemble before we can move it up. Um, actually, even before we do that, I'm just going to make this its own mesh boolean. Uh, since it's an SVG file with a bunch of parts, I'm just going to combine all of these parts uh, into one model. So we'll do that first. So right click, mesh boolean. It removes all the colors, but uh, we can paint this again. All right, now we're going to combine this to the sphere. So we'll just highlight both. So hold control or hold shift and highlight them both and we will assemble. Now that it's assembled, and I will label you so you can see, it can now be moved. So I just clicked on this one from over here. We will use the move tool or the M key and we'll move this up. And nothing fancy here. Cool. All right, now we, since we still have this selected, we're actually going to use the scale tool. And I'm just going to extend this out a bit. This is actually similar to some of my other videos where we're using a negative part and curving uh, text. So we'll just slide that in. And from here, we're just going to move this. 
So I'm going to move this until it's barely sticking out. So right about here is fine. All right, so at the moment we are now um, sticking out here, probably penetrating a bit in uh, inside there, which is fine. And this is, of course, where our mesh boolean comes in. So we will make sure we're clicked on the model. Again, both of these are assembled. We will then go to our mesh boolean or the B key. And we want to do the intersection. So um, previous video, I went over union, which is just a, a combination, a permanent combination. The difference I just showed you where we took that, uh, that negative and made it a permanent part. And then uh, the intersection is nice because we want to cut this out we also want to cut out the part that's sticking out on the other side or the inside of this and just have the parts that's touching. So the, just remember the first part uh, when you choose intersection is the one that disappears. So we want to choose this one first. So this part's actually going to disappear. The second part of course would be the sphere. And from here we can actually just hit uh, intersection. If we hit delete input, it'll actually delete the sphere delete the kitty and just give us the edge, but we don't want to hit uh, delete input. So we'll just hit intersection. All right. And now we just curve that. Now, depending on how you set this up, you might have some parts that's still sticking out. So you can use the move tool. So unlike other, um, uh, Boolean uh, portions, you could have this combine. In this case, they're still separate. So we can take this intersected part. We can use the move tool and just bring it in a little bit and make it as flush as possible. All right. Now I'm pretty sure you guys are already familiar with painting, but we will paint this. So we'll click on our model and we'll start painting. And we'll use the paint bucket. So here, here, here. All right. All right, that's looking good. All right, now you'll probably know from my previous videos, I abhor printing uh, an item like this because you're having uh, filament changes almost every layer. So I'm actually going to shrink this down. And uh, actually, let's just move this down. After changing the scale, it's a little smaller. And I'm just going to cut off part of the bottom. I just want to see how that looks. Oops, not you. And let's slice you. Take a quick look. All right, that is a ridiculous amount of time. I'm just going to change just the outer part to white. So we'll paint you. Actually, let's paint you here. Quick slice. Eh, better. Okay. And you know what? Since I'm only printing one of these, let's make one other adjustment. All right. So let us right click. I'm going to add a negative part and we will do a torus or donut. Let's put this on its side. 90 degrees. Let's center it. We'll use the move tool to bring it up. And then the scale tool to shrink it down a little bit. And when we slice, we'll actually have two holes at the top of this. All right, good. 
Now, much like with the other things, if you want to make this uh, negative permanent, uh, we can actually just do a, another mesh boolean since this is the topic. So we can do mesh boolean and we can just do the difference. And when you're using difference, first part, second part, which would be this one. And when you hit delete input, it'll actually delete the second one. If you don't do that, it'll still leave it there, but we don't need that anymore. So we'll hit difference and we've permanently added holes to this. All right. So normally I can cut the bottom of this, but I'm just going to sink it down and I will print out a copy and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so here's our finished product. And as I said before, I typically don't like printing these types since we effectively have to have a filament change every layer, in some cases, several colors. But you should be able to take an SVG file now and extend it onto any curved surface. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.